Montana Governor Steve Bullock drops out of the race for president. Just six months after jumping into the already crowded field of hopeful Democratic nominees to face President Donald Trump, Bullock says it's become clear he cannot break through the top tier. That announcement came early this morning. MTN Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison has more on Bullock's decision. Bullock made the announcement with a statement to CNN at 4.30 a.m. Montana time. He said it had become clear that he's not going to break through the top tier of Democratic candidates for president. One of those moments of clarity had to be this month's Iowa poll by the Des Moines Register. Bullock barely even registered at less than 1%, which is where he's remained for most of his campaign. I spoke Monday with the Register's lead political reporter, Brianne Fannensteel, who said the poll also tallied which candidates voters might consider as second or third choices. For, for Governor Bullock, even all of those metrics, he was pulling at only 8%. So only 8% of likely Democratic caucus goers say he was even on their minds at this point. And that's a really tough number to come to come out of. Bullock spent a lot of time in Iowa hoping to break from the pack. He was campaigning there just a week ago and was there Sunday to tell his Iowa staff face to face it was over. He arrived back in Montana Monday afternoon, met by supporters at the Helena Airport, but said he wouldn't be available for interviews until Wednesday. Bullock got into the presidential game relatively late, not launching his campaign until mid-May of this year. Montana State University political scientist David Parker said Monday that many Democratic voters who might want a moderate, like Bullock, had already lined up with others, like former Vice President Joe Biden. Fannin Steele also told us she's sensing that Democratic voters are being drawn to someone with a proven national profile. The thing that we hear over and over from Iowa Democrats is that winning, beating Donald Trump is super important to them. And so I think they're gravitating to some of these bigger names. So I think there's just a nervousness among Democrats right now about going out on a limb for, for a candidate. So what now for Governor Bullock? That remains to be seen. But one thing we do know, He's made it clear that he's not running for the U.S. Senate against Republican Steve Daines. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And Bullock also qualified for just one of the national debates, which gave candidates crucial exposure to a larger audience.